Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hope to resolve the Windows Media Player error where it perhaps cannot play a file, it doesn't have the correct codecs in order to properly read and play the file in question. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here today, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to have a link in the description of the video, so I want you guys to copy it directly from my description. So you want to open up a web browser, doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And I'm going to have a link in the description of the video to the Media Player Codec Pack. There's a website that's hosting this file, and we're going to be going ahead and downloading it directly from them. So you're going to select the correct download version for your version of Windows. So most people on this video hopefully will be running Windows 10, 8, or Windows 7. We're going to go select the download option for that respective version of Windows. If you're for some reason you're on this video running Windows 2000 Server 2003 or Windows XP, you're going to select the other download, but I'm really hoping that by now that would not be the case. So again, just go ahead and click on the correct download link. It might take a couple moments to download. It's about 45 megabytes, so please be patient. Once that file is downloaded, you want to go ahead and open it up. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Okay, so you want to select the easy installation and then select next. Select I agree once you have looked through the end user license agreement. Select next. All right, once it's done, it should say setup completed successfully. Some settings may not be applied to your restart your computer. So I would just restart your computer, and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.